Okay. So, um, so what is specific heat capacity? Well, specific heat capacity is the heat capacity per kilogram. So, in other words, if we imagine um, in, in this, let's go down to here. We've got this substance down here that um, we need. We found out to heat it up by one degree C, it needed eighty joules, right? Yeah. To heat up by five degrees C, it would need four hundred joules. Could you tell me how much would it take to heat it up by two degrees C? So yeah, so to heat that up by two, by two degrees C, it would be one hundred and sixty, right? Because by one it, because this number means the amount of energy needed to heat it up by one degree C. Okay. Now, if it turned out that um, that this was was one kilogram. Well, um, and then what, we, what we're saying is that it takes it takes 80 joules to heat uh, one kilogram of this, whatever it is, by one degree C, right? Yeah, happy with that? So um, how much energy right so it takes 80 and 80 joules to heat up one kilogram of this how much energy would it take to heat up two kilograms yeah twice as much 160 joules okay so and if i wanted to heat up one kilogram by two degrees c also 160 joules it's going to take twice as much in either of those cases so what about if i wanted to heat up two kilograms of this stuff by two degrees C. How much energy would that take? So it takes 160 to heat up one kilogram by by um, one kilogram by two, two degrees C. So two kilograms, it will take twice as much. So 320 joules. Good. Okay. So we can see that the, uh, and as I said earlier on, the, the heat, sorry, the specific heat capacity is the energy, uh, is the heat capacity per kilogram. So the so the so the specific heat capacity, which is often written as HC, is equal to the heat capacity per kilogram, which is equal to remember the heat capacity is the energy um, per kilogram. Sorry, per de per degree C, and then and then per kilogram. Right. So of course. Because of that, it's going to be joule per degree C per kilogram. That's the unit of it, right? So we can work this out. So SHC, specific capacity, would be equal to whatever energy you're going to be um, you're going to be dividing it by. Uh, sorry, what energy? Whatever energy you're going to give it, divide that by the change in temperature. And this is where the, the mass looks a bit weird. Technically, you would then divide all of that by the mass, wouldn't you? Right? But you can actually get away with that by just putting that down here. It works the same. You just have to trust me there. Okay? The, the mass ends up being the same. Okay? <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. So this is what people sometimes get a bit confused with. But basically... Um, it, that's what it is. Now we can put this into a triangle, and we can put this into a triangle with with um, four with three things at the bottom. Normally, when we use formula triangles, we'll have something up here, something here, and something here, and have a dis divide line and times line there. Right? That's what we would normally do. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do this time, we're going to have three things at the bottom. So let's rub out the circle and the cross and that, and see if you can work out. Uh, actually, I'm going to also uh, make the triangle a little bit bigger. And uh, see if you can work out what um, what would go where. So we're going to have three things at the bottom. So I'll do the times uh, there. And if you want to just see if you can work out, we've got it's a little bit confusing as well, also because we've got this this little triangle. This means just change in. Okay. Ah, you did you use theta at school? Right, so theta is exactly the same as the change in temperature. And in fact, I think the reason why people use theta sometimes is because this 
idea of having two symbols, people get confused by because they think, well, what's this then? If that's temperature, what's this one? It literally just means, it's like a sentence or like a few words. It means change in temperature, change in temperature. That's all it means, change in energy. So that's I've not seen that version of it done before, but basically, um, so usually it's just theta. It means the change in temperature, uh, or you can write delta T, change in temperature. I've never seen it written as that, but um, it's all the same. It just means change in temperature. Anyway, use whatever you – so I'll, I'll stick to the way that you're doing it. We'll do that, and I will um, change it down here too. So – Think about delta E as one thing, delta theta as one thing, and then M as one thing, obviously. And see if you can uh, work out. And Oh, instead of writing SHC, we're just going to write C. Okay. So I've changed the colors of them. Oh, I didn't want to change the color of the M, actually. Um, I just wanted to change the color of that one. That's what I wanted to do. So um, we've changed the colors of them. Um, and then you can see, yes, the... We look at the right-hand side and we think if there's a line there, then the thing above the line goes above the line here. So, yeah, we've got delta E at the top there. So that one, that one's correct. And then we've then the bit at the bottom, you're right, it doesn't matter what order you put them in, okay? So we've got the C, the delta theta, and then the M. So that's all fine, okay? Uh, and then we would use that triangle, use that formula triangle to work out any question you want. Maybe they ask, maybe they give you, they'll always give you three things in some way or another, and you have to work out the fourth thing. Okay, so that's what specific capacities. We'll do some questions now then.